All right, welcome back, everybody. Good to see you out here on a Monday night as the Woo-hoo! Packers beat the Lions. It was tough last year. They lost to all three division teams at home last year. It's never happened before since they went to the four division format. Uh, or eight division format way back when. Uh, so it was nice to take care of business against the black and blue rival and the Honolulu Blue in particular. Packers win it 34 to 27. And a big time guy in this Packer defense so far this season is in just his second year. Came to Green Bay as an undrafted free agent, uh, then had to go get banished to Dallas for a little while before <laughs> Packers uh, thankfully brought him back and he has made a gigantic jump. This season, folks, he's playing great football. He's the full-time dimebacker. Now did a little nickel action as well. Was on the field a whole lot yesterday, chasing those lions down. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, from South Carolina State, number 48, Joe Thomas. Hello, Joe. How you doing? I'm good. Thanks for coming over. Nice win. Good win. I know it got a little testier than you wanted, but the win's the thing, and we were talking after the game. Uh, I'm not interested in yards, only Ws. Yeah, exactly. That's all we care about. What was uh, it like uh, when you watched the offense finally become the offense you're accustomed to seeing? You kind of knew then that this might be a good day, especially when they get out of the gate fast. Um, it just took me back to my rookie year when I was on practice squad, just watching those guys just go up and down the field and with such ease. Uh, it was nice seeing A-Rod and Jordy connect so much and make plays. And when those two make plays, it opened up the field for all the other players around them. I was, I was talking about that Eddie run right in front of the bench when he was ripping through tackles yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That bench went crazy. It went crazy. Crazy. It was amazing. Crazy. Energy. A, yeah, energy. But you guys are playing with energy, Joe, and I really want to talk to you about the run defense. I thought there was going to be some concern. You have Mike. You got Latroy, two good, solid veteran players, and Mike's playing just crazy. But a lot of young kids around him. And suddenly, even Dom Capers admitted it, the run defense is playing way better than the pass defense, and I'm not sure a lot of people expected that. What's going on with this run um, defense? I think it's just a testament to our off-season preparation. Um, the young players stepping up, the old veteran guys, you know, showing the young players the ropes, and everybody just playing gap sound defense. And four, everybody's pursuing the ball. Four out of the first five runs were negative runs. Yeah, it's a because it's been consistent for us lately. So yeah. penetration critical, right? Yeah, Pen- penetration and great tackling. And yeah, and that's another thing. Not many missed tackles this year. Yeah. Uh, and I think Jake and Blake, the rhyming insiders, <laughs> uh, are really doing a nice job. Yeah. Kind of just filling where we're needed. <laughs> we're needed. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the, the line is getting great penetration, like you said, and the linebackers are flowing well. Even the safeties are getting involved as well. And you are the third down guy going on in the inside when there's all DBs around you. Talk about the increased responsibility this season and how you've seized it, Joe. Um, I mean, I, I was the third, third down guy last year. Yeah. But, you know, this year I'm just, I'm just more comfortable in the situation. I'm playing a lot faster, a lot more physical. Um, I'm just playing the game I know how to play it. All right, Joe, let's go back to the Lions' second offensive possession yesterday at Lambeau Field. You absolutely lit up Ebron coming over the middle. Talk about that monster hit. How does that feel for you as a player to to lay the load on somebody like that? I mean, I I love it. I I love it. I love it, and uh, it it, it brings the crowd more into the game. Um, The energy flows through the – my teammates, and I just love bring, bringing energy to the game. Did did he have fear in his eyes with you coming over the middle? Um, after going back and watching film, I seen he kind of alligator arm, yeah. you know, trying to catch the ball, so I guess so. Is, is there a hit in your career, like college or in your very young NFL career, that really sticks out to you outside of that type of a hit? Uh, there's been a lot of them. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I can't really think of any right now. Probably a couple practices back in college, but that's nothing. I, I wonder if that hit didn't have something to do with what happened when Demarius took it right out of his hands. Oh, you know, that was a sweet play. Yeah, that was you know. a sweet play. So, was it a pick or a fumble? The stats say a pick. We were yeah. just talking about that in the meeting. I, like how? Why? I might. You know? I might think. Elias Sports Bureau might change that one. I really do. I know but I don't. Matt. Huh? I said I know Stanford Matt. Yeah, Stanford, I know Stanford <laughs> certainly will want that change.